If you ever wanted to start selling print on demand through Shopify, then this video is for you. Whether you've already been selling print on demand, perhaps through Etsy and want to start another income source through Shopify, or if this is your first time selling print on demand through Shopify, don't worry, we're gonna cover all the bases. We will be covering how to set up your Printify, how to set up your Shopify, how to connect them, how to create products through Printify so they're linked to Shopify. That's a lot of confusing words. And if you've already been selling on Etsy, how to move over your existing listings over to your brand new Shopify store. And at the end of this video, I am going to highlight the difference between selling some products on Etsy and Shopify because not all of your Etsy listings should be moving over to Shopify. So stay tuned if you are just moving over products into my top selling tips to have also a successful Shopify store. So first, what we need to do is set up our Shopify account. And right now, Shopify does have a deal where you can get three months for $1, which is an amazing deal for people who are just getting started because it might take a little bit for this to start getting up and running. If you are new to print on demand, you do need to create a Printify shop. Printify is your supplier that has all the t-shirts, sweatshirts, thousands of products that you want to sell through your Shopify store and they help you automate all of your sales. And if you already have a Printify account, skip the step. Now, once you have both of your accounts set up, we need to stay in Printify and we need to connect our Shopify account. If you already have had an account, it's going to look like this. But even if this is a brand new account for you, it should look very similar to this. But I'm going to click on my name up here, which is my Etsy store, my test account where I do all these tutorials on. And we're going to hit add a new store. Now what we're going to do is we are going to scroll down and we're going to go to Shopify and we're going to hit connect to Shopify. So this was the account that I created my Shopify under and this is my brand new store that I'm going to be working on while we do this video series. So do you want to watch more? Don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be sharing everything I learned from getting started to making sales on this YouTube channel. So this is my account right now and we can find our URL, which mine is romerfit.myshopify.com. And we're going to copy that and move back on over to Printify. Once we do that, we're gonna get a brand new Shopify pop-up that comes up in our Shopify account, but it's asking to install the Printify app. So we're just going to hit install here and let that complete. Once you are in here, you are gonna to need to re-sign into Shopify. Another way to do this is just find the Printify app within Shopify, but either way works. So I'm gonna go sign into my new Printify account. So now your Printify and your Shopify are linked together. But well, why does that even matter? If you have not used print on demand before, let me explain how the process works. When you create a design and you put it on a Printify product, you are then sending it to Shopify. And the reason you want them to talk to each other is because when you get an order on Shopify, automatically Printify is going to get that order and they're going to print and ship it for you. Meaning once you get a sale, you don't have to do anything, but this only works if both of them are linked and talking to each other. This also only works if you push your individual listing or product from Printify to Shopify. So let's do an example together. So we are able to do this from the Shopify app, but personally, I prefer to just work right within the Printify view. So I'm gonna hit open full site or just go to Printify and we're gonna work from there. So now we're back into the Printify original site. And if you already had an Etsy store, it's probably gonna be the one that pops up. But if you this is your first account connected, it's probably gonna be the Shopify. But to navigate between your two different stores, if you're connected to different selling platforms. You just have to click your name here and now you can toggle between your Etsy store and your Shopify store. And now what we need to do to maintain the linking is we need to create our products starting from Printify. So what we're going to do is you're going to either hit browse products or at the side go under catalog. And here are the thousands of different products that you can choose to sell in your store. For this example, we're actually gonna be selling Comfort Colors sweatshirts. So I'm gonna be going to sweatshirts and I'm gonna be looking for the Comfort Colors ones. Usually I am selling the Gildan 18,000 here, but I'll explain why I've chosen this product. Probably in my future video when we talk about branding the Shopify store, I'm gonna select this one right here. And now scrolling down, I'm gonna pick one of these print providers to be my main supplier. One of my favorite ones is SwiftPod. I do also really like Monster Digital, but if you take a look, they only have three colors available, not many options, versus SwiftPod has the most options for these comfort color sweatshirts. So I'm gonna hit start designing. Now we have this editor 
that that opens up. And if you already have your design file, usually I create my designs using Canva or Kittle. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna hit the upload button here, go to my device and bring in my PNG file of the design that I want to print on this sweatshirt. Once it's loaded, I'm just going to change the placement because I want this to kind of be a higher on the sweatshirt design. And if you do want a better view of what these are kind of gonna look like when printed, you can toggle between looking at preview, which will show you what this kind of looks like when somebody is wearing it. Here we go. So this can kind of help us with placement, but coming back now, I also want to select different colors. I want to sell this on because I want my customers to be able to choose. So I'm going to hit select variants at the side here and scrolling down. I'm going to turn on some of the colors that I want to sell this on scrolling down. I'll do denim. Let's do an orchid. And once you've selected all the colors that you like, you're going to be able to see them here. But what you might notice is we have a black design on white, but is that black design going to print on a black or dark sweatshirt? Probably not. So we need a light color version of this file. So under the dark colors, I'm going to hit make a specific design for denim. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload the light version of this design. I'm going to line it up on top of the black, and then I'm just going to go down and delete the black file. We just wanted to do that. So we know that they line up and then I'm going to do the same thing with the pepper and all the other dark variations of this design that we want to save. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and hit save product. And now scrolling down, you're able to fill out your title. You can change your descriptions. You're able to add some tags to this. You're able to change the pricing, but a lot of these you can also change in Shopify as well. So don't worry if you miss something here or want to change it later. But once you're happy, we're going to hit publish. And now if you come back to Shopify and we go to our products, that product that we just created in Printify is going to show up and it's going to be linked to Printify because again, if someone places an order for this automatically, it's going to be sent to Printify for you. Many of you might be saying right now, I've already done this all for Etsy. I am not going to do it again. Don't worry. Here's a trick to move over some of your Etsy listings right on over to Shopify. Instead of creating the product again, we are going to flip back over here to our Etsy store. So again, remember we can toggle between the two. And then when you find the products that you want to move over, you're going to come to them. You're going to hit these three dots and then we're going to hit copy two. And then we're going to select our brand new Shopify store. And then we're going to hit copy products and you can bulk do this. You can select multiple of these at once and do the copy to up here so that you can upload tens, hundreds, how many different designs you want to move over, but then they're not going to quite show up yet. You do need to go back to your, your Shopify printify, and then you're going to see it's unpublished. So you're going to want to select them and then you're going to want to hit publish. And now these are also going to be showing up under your Shopify products. And for those already using Printify or very much if this is your first time using Printify, I highly recommend you go watch my video on all the Printify settings that you need to know about before selling. I'll link that video up next. And I did mention earlier that there are major differences between selling on Etsy and Shopify. In fact, I only moved maybe one tenth of my products over to my Shopify store because my Etsy has tons of different niches in it because the way Etsy works is inbound marketing. People are already searching for your listing versus Shopify. You have to get out there and let people know that you exist. They're not going to find you probably by keywords unless you're already a really, really big store. So it's important with a Shopify to really have one singular niche. This is so you can set up a website that appeals to that niche so that you can do marketing to that niche because why doing Facebook ads or any ads, you're targeting people by interest. And if you can't nail down their interests, then you're probably showing products to people who will never buy from you. This also helps for email marketing, which we're going to be talking about later in this series. You want to be collecting emails and letting these people know about future product releases. But if they brought a cow shirt from you and now you're advertising a biking shirt, they're probably not going to care. They're going to unsubscribe what you are letting them know in an email newsletter is irrelevant to them. For Shopify, you are also probably going to want to be doing some social media marketing. Again, people aren't really going to find you by searching for you on Google unless they already know your brand name. But unlike Etsy, where someone might type in cow t-shirt and you show up, it's likely not going to happen on Google. Instead, you need to make people aware you exist and social media is a part of that. And same example as before, if you have a social media that appeals 
to everybody. It's really appealing to nobody. Would you buy a cow shirt from a biking store? Probably not. So my Etsy was about building and trying a bunch of different niches while my Shopify is getting extremely niched down now. All right, guys, that is how you get set up and ready to start selling print on demand through Shopify. In our next video, we're gonna be going through how we actually set up our store in a way that's actually gonna get customers to trust us and purchase from us. So if you're interested in learning more, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll see you soon.